Square Enix. This game exists. You know, on the list of completely unnecessary prequels, this one ranks pretty high. I mean, everybody who's played Life is Strange already knows what happens to Chloe and Rachel. Plus, I doubt there's an important event that wasn't covered in our previous time travel game. This is just another classic case of companies trying to milk everything they can out of a beloved game. Some bullshit. Man, you know a game is edgy as hell when it encourages suicide in the opening sequence. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. You are not Ashley Birch. Also, Firewalk? Jeez, game, we get it. You're heavily inspired by Twin Peaks. You do not need to beat us over the head with it. Wow, flipping the double bird at a warning sign. So rebellious, you should apply for a scholarship at Stone Cold University. You'd fit right in. I know that Chloe likes to be quite the contrarian, but she has a cell phone if she wants to mark an objective. It's a waste of ink. Inaudible argument. Get a room. Or not. This is Frank's RV, and you have the option to tag it with a permanent marker. However, if you do, it won't be consistent with the previous game, seeing as how there were no markings on Frank's RV. Now, you could make the claim that Frank simply cleaned it. Except Frank doesn't wash his vehicle. As evidenced by Max's impulsive need to write I'm so dirty on the window. This place is sketchy as hell. Oh really? Because a few minutes ago you said this place was awesome. This place is awesome. Having second thoughts, eh? A second door inside? So close, and yet so far. It's literally right there in front of you. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Hey, Jonah, don't you have a Tomb Raider game to be starring in? Why are you here? It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Are you seriously carting somebody for entering a barn in the middle of nowhere? Speaking of which, pretty funny that this old rundown barn has better supervision than the vortex parties at Blackwell Academy in the previous game. I would have enjoyed this mechanic a lot more if it turned into an epic rap battle. Instead, it boils down to how much of an asshole can Chloe be, with insults that I would expect to see from a manic depressive Tumblr blogger. So, you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. This is a rather inconsistent decision if you decide to pay Frank here, seeing as how in the original Life is Strange, Chloe owed Frank plenty of money, and that game takes place after this one. Plus, Frank, didn't you just say that Chloe paid for your weed every month for over a year? Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. How is she still in debt? And don't call me baby. Fine, 20 bucks, thief. That guy's a dick. Yeah, what an asshole trying to make some money selling his merchandise. Shit! No, 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 no! Come on! Guy is standing right next to the person he was arguing with a moment ago and doesn't suspect a thing. First person point of view at critical plot moments. You spilled my beer, bitch! And as I suspected, it didn't matter if you chose to apologize. The illusion of choice trend continues. <laughs> Are you seriously about to murder somebody for spilling your beer at a metal show? Somebody clearly has manhood issues. Rachel X Machina. If you look really closely, you can see Rachel and Chloe doing the shepherd shuffle. I smell like cigarettes and beer. Complains about smelling like cigarettes when she smoked a cigarette as soon as she woke up. Woo, life is strange, dress up simulator. The hypest gameplay on YouTube, son. Shit. Where's my phone? First puzzle of the game involves you finding your phone. Them's those first world problems. I want mom to be happy, but not like this. Not like this! Ladies and gentlemen, Chloe Price, the meme queen. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. All of the relevant information you need is right in the middle of the book, cliche. Chloe picks up Joyce's purse here, but in the transition shot where she walks downstairs, she's not carrying it. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? Not so subtle foreshadowing. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. Oh no, he called you girly? Well, that's just going too far. Time to harbor animosity for life. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Foreshad irony. I actually have to let this jack-off drive me to school. Um, didn't you say you were fond of skateboarding? I used to love skateboarding. 
It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. You used to love it, yet you still have it, which means you are still capable of using it as a mode of transportation. So why go with David? <sighs> why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. Wah, wah, wah. Also, David, I see that you got a new voice actor as well. Jeez, game. If you want me to be immersed into your story, you might want to try a little bit of consistency. Yeah, I know there was a voice actor strike, which means you should have took the hint in delaying the game. But hey, don't let your greedy tendencies prevent you from releasing an unnecessary game. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over. Nah. School's hardly worth walking to. Adventure game denies you of adventure, especially when there was a bike right in front of us. Well, this is the most awkward bro fist that I've ever seen. It's even more sinful if you refuse since David forces the fist bump. Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. David wants to have a conversation with Chloe when just a few minutes ago he said Chloe wouldn't be late to school on his watch. Won't be late to school on my watch. You are clearly wasting time here, David. Flashback within a dream cliche. Warren 2.0, except even a bigger coward. Fuck, at least Warren had the balls to open up a Stone Cold Steve Austin sized can of whoop ass on Nathan Prescott. This guy's completely spineless. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. Social media haters. This NPC is walking on thin air. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and, uh, Uranium again. This actually works. Oh, Victoria, keep on perpetuating that dumb blonde stereotype. Also, I highly doubt that getting one wrong answer is enough to sabotage her homework. But I'm sure the game will come up with some dumb reason as to why that matters. <laughs> Come on, Chloe, nod your head. Give yourself to the rhythm. This is far better than that garbage from Firewalk and you actually took the time to go see them. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Ah, yes. Speaking of which, aren't we late to class? We've been roaming about the campus for a good 15 minutes now. Wasn't the whole point of David bringing Chloe to school was so that she could be in class on time? I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. I know, right? It's not like teenagers do that in this self-absorbent, narcissistic Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, digital age. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I I've been hearing about your drug use. Aren't you the same principal who will later on refuse to believe that a rich kid owns a gun and threaten the very teenager that you're talking to right now? I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? How does Evan not notice these names placed on his petition and that people are basically making a mockery out of him? Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. What is this, the 1990s? Netflix was prominent even during the time this game takes place. Are you guys playing D&D? &D? Who the hell plays D&D &D with only two people? That's literally the dungeon master and one player character. This 10 minute segment of tabletop role playing is more entertaining than anything you'll play in this episode. The worst thing is, I think the developers knew that. That's why they included it. To temporarily trick you into thinking this is a quality game. Shit! All of my battle spells are fire-based. Then you are a terrible mage. Get good or get out. What have you got here? Twitch. I see that the ongoing war between Twitch and YouTube has manifested itself into characters from this game. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Irony. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? Shakespearean question about young dumb love acts as a parallel to the game's story. Subtlety is certainly not your specialty. Really, game? Pepe? Just stop. Just stop. Scene does not contain any lewdness. Chloe, it's about time you learn how to defend yourself. Also, we need to do something about your hair before we get to Savannah. Looping scenery. So... It's kind of weird that we're hanging out. Not weird at all, actually. Seeing as how you were the one who asked Chloe to ditch class in the first place. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? Well, it's not like you were granted a scholarship and your mother's working her ass off to try to support you. But hey, don't let basic human decency get in the way of your antics. Two truths and a lie. What? 
I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth and one of which is a lie. If the game is called Two Truths and a Lie, then that means there's only going to be two facts about someone. Jeez, girl, if you're going to lie about making up a game, you got to be more clever than that. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? Ah, and now we get to the true purpose as to why this game exists. To explain the origin of Hella. This is one detail that isn't important. Wanna waste time prying open a viewfinder all because you didn't notice the out of order sign on the ground? Then you've come to the right place. And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Wow, that was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Subpar game references a far superior game. What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. Um, we didn't bring any alcohol. Luckily, there's a couple nearby with some convenient wine to satisfy your twisted pleasures. Hey, look at me! Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. That actually worked. These broads are drinking while walking on train tracks that the game has already established are still in use. Also, how is that bottle not empty yet? They traveled quite a distance and it's clearly evening time now. Hey, player, you remember this scene from the last game, right? You member. No, I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? You've known each other for like a day. Rachel, wait. Don't go. Why not? Because... Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? In all seriousness, I don't even know why this option is even here. The previous game already established that Rachel and Chloe were very close. So they're gonna end up close regardless of what you choose. It's not that. It's just hard right now, and I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. In other words, the plot doesn't demand it yet, so shut the hell up. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Five out of ten needs more angst. Come on, girl, put some emotion into that acting. So much not-so-subtle death foreshadowing. I guess you could say this girl is lit. That she should firewalk with me. See, game? You're not the only one who can make stupid puns. Chloe passes out in front of the car, yet somehow wakes up inside of it. Chloe and Rachel split up, only to meet up hours later at this tree that's about 200 yards from where they split up. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Wow, could have fooled me. Never saw that one coming miles away. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. Girl with daddy issues trope. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You could not have seen that. You were inside partying, jamming out to Firewalk. Hero, a hero claims a warrior's life. I tell you, I tell you that dragonborn knows. With the voice wielding power of the ancient Nordos. Believe, believe that dragonborn How did none of you notice a giant wildfire when it's right in front of you, smoking next to a wildfire? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. <laughs>